At the end of World War II, a woman driving a German military vehicle, full of smugness in the grass, suddenly flew a shell. The military vehicle was blown up on the spot. It turns out that the US Army squad took the woman as a German soldier. A GI rushed up to take a look. The sound of the explosion shook his eyes. Exploded a lot of gold bricks this is simply a flying fortune. The story also begins with a German deserter. Heinrich hated the war. His wife and son were killed in the air raid. And a kind neighbor took in the only surviving daughter. Heinrich was so experienced in combat that he wounded his captain in one ear during his escape. But he still couldn't escape capture. Heinrich fought bravely in the army and was once awarded the Iron Cross. Still. This kind of disturbing the army forbidden, and to make an example of him, the ruthless Vaughn officer wants to hang Heinrich and have Dorfler execute him himself. To avenge the shot, the Dorfler deliberately rotated the angle of the knot to make Heinrich wait in despair for death. As the truck starts up, Heinrich is hung from a tree, slowly hallucinating that his wife and son are far away from him, leaving only his daughter waiting helplessly. Heinrich was about to be taken away by death when a woman appeared in time to save him. After making sure the unconscious man still had a heartbeat, the woman struggled to drag him back to the farm to recuperate. At the same time, the German officer with the team into the town ahead, playing children scared to avoid, the town residents instantly become nervous. The pastor had a bad feeling that something bad was about to happen. Richard immediately had the portrait of the Führer rehung, rummaged through the dusty uniforms, and invited Vaughn to stay at his hotel. This group of Nazis came to this town because a Jew in the camp wanted to bribe the officer to let him leave the camp with the gold hidden in his house. But the Jewish house was already in ruins. Richard claims that not long ago they evicted the Jewish family and then burned the house to the ground. And in order to find the valuable gold, Vaughn decided to stay in the town temporarily. By this time, the war was nearing its end. The French had crossed the Le Galaxy, with American planes circling overhead every day. There was little time left for them. Vaughn asked Dorfler to lead a team to collect rations from the surrounding area to make a last stand. On the other side of the farm, Heinrich has come to his senses under the meticulous care of a woman named Elsa, whose father died at the hands of the Nazis. So she hates the Nazi soldiers passionately. After her father's death, she and Paul depend on each other. And this small farm is the only thing her father has left to his siblings. Heinrich thanks Elsa for saving his life and prepares to leave the farm so as not to involve the two siblings in the strife. But in this time of war, no one can do it alone. There was a sudden noise from outside. A real enemy. Dorfler's team just came to the farm. They are as busy as the bandits into the village. They are busy frantically catching chickens. Elsa was brave enough to walk out with a shotgun. But there were so many of them that a woman couldn't stop them. I thought the bandits would leave after taking the stuff. But I didn't expect Dorfler to lead people to break into the house. And started to make a move on Elsa. The strong character of Elsa would rather die than obey. This scene was hidden in the attic of Heinrich in the eyes of. Heinrich couldn't sit still any longer and picked up a steel fork and stabbed it, leaving Doflamingo and his buddies completely stunned. Before Dorfler reacted, Elsa a pot of boiling water poured over, the little brother suffered a series of fatal blows. It is estimated to be completely ruined. In the melee, Dorfler was pushed out of the window, no longer cared about the man in the house, not even to put on his pants, and began to run away in a hurry in the car. Heinrich picked up the gun on the ground and rushed out. The soldier who had caught the chicken tried to sneak in and was shot down by Elsa. Looking at the soldier nailed to the stake and dying, Heinrich shot him dead. The whole team except Dorfler all lost their lives. The farm was no longer safe. So Heinrich threw the extra weapons into the latrine, packed up briefly, and prepared to take refuge in the mountains. Paul could not leave the cows at home and was persuaded by Elsa to leave the farm. When they wake up, they find that Paul has disappeared. But he has returned to the farm and was captured by the Dorfler, who killed the cow and set fire to yesterday's corpse along with the farm. Elsa and Heinrich arrive too late. The cabin is already on fire, and Paul has been taken away. On the other side of town, the soldiers turned the Jewish house upside down, but did not find the gold. Vaughn gradually lost patience. He asked Richard to gather everyone to the square, ready to publicly hang Paul to make an example of. The priest tried to stop it but was beaten down by a punch. The soldiers took Paul to the top of the bell tower. But what happened next was surprising. A moment. The crowd in the square scattered in fear. Vaughn but stood in place extra calm. A soldier gave him a long gun. When Elsa rushed over, Paul turned the moment was a shot in the head. The only family member was also taken away from the life. The sad Elsa took a pistol and rushed forward. Anger made her lose her mind. Surprisingly a shot did not hit. Vaughn told the soldiers not to shoot. 
Because Elsa reminded him of a person, Dorfler saw Heinrich at the door and immediately led the men to rush up. In the face of the aggressive soldiers, Heinrich hurriedly unscrewed a grenade, and the two sides immediately engaged in a fierce firefight. Although Heinrich shot all the bullets, for the battle hardened him. These are only small scenes. Under cover of the last grenade, he jumped down from the upper floor. A soldier came forward to check, and just as soon as the door was opened, Heinrich kills him with an axe. Heinrich rushes into the opposite room and takes out the soldier who tries to intercept with a clean reach. Heinrich is ready to fill his equipment when Dorfler arrives just in time and comes up with a sweep. Taking advantage of Dorfler's time to change bullets, Heinrich did not hesitate to rush up and start a fierce fight with him. Cunning Dorfler even put on the Finger Tiger to increase the attack power. So that the two fight from upstairs to downstairs, Dorfler was about to be killed when a US plane appeared at an inopportune moment, and intense firepower suppressed and separated the two men. And when Heinrich came back to his senses, Dorfler had already taken advantage of the opportunity to slip away. When Dorfler returned from packing up the remnants, Heinrich, who had been wounded in the leg, had long since disappeared. He quietly hid in the priest's house, where his mistress Ermgard treated his wound briefly. In the end, the priest reveals the reason for the sudden appearance of the Nazis in the town after the outbreak of World War II. The German army planned to put all the Jews into concentration camps. Late one night, Richard and others to show their loyalty gathered villagers to drive away a rich Jewish family in the town. In the confusion, Richard and the others found a box of gold bricks. To cover up, they buried the gold in the cemetery and prepared to share the wealth among the four after the war. Jews in concentration camps tell the truth about the existence of this box of gold to save their lives. Richard knows that the brutal Dorfler is so determined to get the gold that he will kill them all if they don't hand it over. However, Richard just out of the cellar by Sonia a shovel to shoot dead, so that the gold is one less person to share. They dug up the cemetery with excitement and found that the gold had disappeared and was replaced by a Bible. Several people instantly understood that the missing gold must be related to the priest. On the other hand, the reason why Vaughn did not kill Elsa, because she looks very much like the woman he once loved. But unfortunately, the other party is a Jew. In order to prevent his lover from being tortured to death in a concentration camp, Vaughn killed her with his own hands. For this matter he has been ashamed of his heart. Now, he transferred this love to Elsa's body and even pulled out a diamond ring from his blind eye, put it on Elsa's hand and proposed to her, and promised to protect her forever. At night, they slept together in the same bed. While Vaughn was sleeping, Elsa quietly pried out the cyanide in the ring, but accidentally the pills fell on the floor. When she found them on the floor, Vaughn woke up. This horrible man killed her brother. How could she be complicit in it? Elsa offers a passionate kiss with the pills in her mouth. When Vaughn reacts, the drugs have been punched into his stomach, and Vaughn foams at the mouth and soon dies a violent death. Meanwhile, Heinrich, led by the priest, finds the gold hidden in the church and decides to exchange it for Elsa. As the hotel window is broken, Dorfler and the soldier rush to the ground in fear, only to discover that a shiny gold brick has been thrown in instead of a grenade. Knowing Heinrich's intentions, Dorfler agrees and goes to Vaughn's room, where he enters and finds that Vaughn has swallowed poison and died, and Elsa is nowhere to be found. The cunning Dorfler used the boss's wife as a substitute, followed by quietly throwing a grenade. The unsuspecting Heinrich was stunned on the spot. In order to find the remaining gold, Dorfler did not kill him. However, on the other hand, the trio led by Sonia, to get the gold, took the priest hostage and came to the church first. The priest told them the location of the gold and asked God's forgiveness behind them. It turns out that there is not only gold but also three grenades. Dorfler arrives at the church with soldiers carrying Heinrich, and when he sees the gold scattered all over the place, he smiles smugly and takes out the priest with one shot. At this point, outside the church, Elsa found the powerful Iron Fist anti-tank rocket launcher, Ermgard saw the priest was killed. Instant rage value was pulled full in cooperation with Elsa, hit the group of Germans by surprise, just when Ermgard was about to finish Dorfler, but was a cold shot to the head. Elsa was also wounded. The situation was reversed, but the smart Elsa used a plan to force out the soldier who shot the cold shot. A shot to solve it. But the trouble doesn't end there. The immortal Dorfler gets up again and pushes Elsa to the ground, but he loses too much blood and doesn't care about his behind. Heinrich kills Dorfler with gold. Elsa slowly walks out of the church with the bruised Heinrich. However, what was unexpected was that a cowardly soldier was hiding inside the bronze bell, who looked at the gold and couldn't help but laugh but was shot dead by Sonia. Sonia thought she was the winner of her life. 
but the plot reversed again, and the cursed gold ended up in the hands of the American army. At the end of the film, Heinrich and Elsa come to their hometown after the bombing and find their daughter, compared to the gold. Family is Heinrich's most precious treasure, 